just laying my edges, girl. I'm just laying them edges. This is a bittersweet video <laughs> to do, but I truthfully need to compare them. I need to talk about this trifecta. It is now become one of the most sought after trifectas with Louis Vuitton to try and get all three sizes of this toiletry case uber famous it is offered in epi and it is offered in monogram so there you have a leather the leather sorry and you have the canvas and i think it once was offered in a not 26 size meaning the length it was a medium size in the um damier bin but that was a long time ago I think you can source around and find them on the resale market. However, these are the three that you can get new from Louis Vuitton in their toiletry case collection. Unfortunately, it's hard to get your hands on it. So that's why this is a bittersweet video. But I am going to try and link as many, many new. So from the Louis Vuitton stores that I can find internationally as well, I'm going to do some serious research for you guys. And if I know there's amounts, like if I call the hotline and there's amounts in certain countries, I'll try and let you know that as well. But then I am going to link as many as I can find in good condition off the resale market. If I could have got especially this one off the resale market in good condition i would have gone ahead and done it you know i'm not scared of that and sometimes i prefer to do it in that in that sort of way to go the resale route because you save a little and it's look if it's really hard to find like these three items are that's your only option guys it is your only option so straight into it the louis vuitton toiletry cases in the trifecta sizes starting at largest the 26 so the number obviously like the speedy collection stands for the length of the base so this measurement is 26 centimeters the middle size is the 19, so this base is 19 centimeters, and the smallest little size is the 15, so this is 15 centimeters. The interesting, interesting thing I have found in researching for this comparison video is the sizes of these toiletry cases. So, this toiletry 26 measures in, this is in inches, 10.2 inches in length. It measures in 7.9 inches in height and it measures in 2 inches in depth. So there the side as you can see. So interestingly enough, the 19, which is 19 centimeters in length. So this is 7.5 inches in length. It is 5.9 inches in height and it is two inches in depth. So there is our largest and our middle. And then we've got our 15, our little baby. So this is 15 centimeters in length. So it is 7.9 inches in length. It is 5.9 inches in height. And it also is two inches in depth. So all three of these toiletry cases are two inches in depth. This was the interesting part about researching for this video. I was like, wow, that is so cool to know that. And then the coolest thing about these trifecta is that with their measurements, they fit into each other. The 26 is the exact makeup obviously as you just heard me say height wise as the 19 is lengthwise so like so and then you've got your 15 i just thought this was so interesting fits inside the 19 like so isn't that cool they're like those babushka dolls even though I think I've been told before that's not what they're actually called, the Bushka dolls, which fit inside each other. But that's it. Now, prices, retail prices. We have had a price increase, people. Don't get upset about it. That is what happens with these luxury houses. They realize and their price increase. 
This little baby now retails in Australian dollars for 425 Australian dollars. And right now, the Australian website is saying sold out, so it is not uh, available. Again, I'm very sorry to show it to you, but it is not available. The Toiletry 19 retails in Australian dollars for 480 Again, on the Australian Louis Vuitton website, displaying sold out. And then lastly, the Toiletry 26 retails for 535 Australian dollars again on the louisvuitton.com.au website displaying sold out I have spoken to Ellen these are there is a wait list for this like there is for the pochette Matisse it's crazy especially the size 26 I think out of the three sizes which is most popular is probably the 26 because you can use it or I guess you can use any of them as a clutch bag if you wish but this does get used popular like has it's sort of famous as being used as a clutch under the arm Princess Diana is famous for her quick yacht shot with Dodie Al-Fayed carrying this under her arm in her little in her summer outfit and it was uber chic and stylish so that's probably the most popular because of the use you can get out of this using it as kind of a clutch handbag my most popular favorite out of the three for jerusha preferences is the 19 a hundred percent i do get use out of the other two obviously they're being used right now and i'm going to show you what i use them for but the 19 is my kind of ride or die uh, I feel I get great use out of this. I feel I can move through it in different ways, such as what it's being used for right now. And then it can be a catch-all in my bag. I can take it for quick overnight trips. I can take it, I use it when I come down here to the studio and I need extra makeup. I will pop it in here as well and bring that down, not lugging anything else heavier. Uh, it's just yeah, I think this is that you know again medium size in the trifecta There's like that Goldilocks size. That's just kind of perfect for everything. I Personally would not use this as a clutch uh, I mean, I you know size wise. It's great. I just I don't know. I'm not drawn to it as a clutch I wouldn't go out with it using it as a clutch plus, you know, I'm a mum of one I'm not using clutch. I'm not going to events every weekend. So yeah, I, I see it much more as its actual use, which is a toiletry case. Okay, I'm going to bring the camera down, like right down. You're not going to see my face at all. And I'm going to show you the comparison sitting here, show you what I pack in them. And yeah, just showing you the interiors and things like that. So you can get a good view if you are able to get your hands on this item. Maybe this will give you a better sort of uh, understanding of what you might use these uh, toiletry cases for. Okay, all right, so as I said, I won't be in the shot, which isn't a bad thing. But um, okay, so we have the three here. The first thing I'm going to show you is where the three of mine are made. You can see straight off the bat the newer versus the uh, older, just due to the honey patina on the three vachette tabs that you can see there so we have newest and um, we have middle and then we have oldest i got my 19 first it is made in france then i got my 15 from serena it is made in spain and then i got my 26 from mj in new york and it is made in France as well. So starting up with the toiletry 15, I use this as my catch-all down inside my handbag. I am personally gonna say I prefer this over my mini pochette as a catch-all down inside your bag because the one and only fact is that it holds more. So all of the toiletries are a top zipper closure. You have the zipper with LV engraved on the front and on the back of it. You have the extended zipper which is exactly like a mini pochette as well, which is really nice for access. So the tongue goes further along. You have the vachette uh, triangular pull on the end. It goes all the way along. Therefore, it gives you a nice mouth to open down inside uh, the case to get your items in and out. The best thing about these toiletries being a toiletry is that it's wipeable 
cowhide lining. So this is actually lined with cowhide leather and it's wipeable. You can wipe off any stains, any marks, any lotions, anything that spills. And that's the best thing about this toiletry. So I've shown this before in a what's in my bag, but I have hand sanitizers. I have Panadol. I have ladies products. I have my Chanel Too Faced mirror. I have my Tom Ford lipstick, Sable Smoke. I have extra points cards down inside. And that is what I keep in there. And as I said, this pick, my pick is this over the mini pochette. Even though I love my mini pochette to death, this is really good as a catch-all in your bag. Hey, what I use the toiletry 19 for. So the exact same features, top zipper closure, the extended tongue, which is so great, especially for access. If you have watched my channel, you may know I use this for all my face needs. So everything to do with makeup, sorry, makeup face needs, not like lotions or face wash, but all my makeup face needs. So primers, concealers, foundations, all of that I just know is inside here. They're usually a tube, so it sits nicely down like so you can stand the items up if you want to you do have that option because of the height so here is my chanel bb cream and if i wanted to stand it upright i could do so like that you can see it there uh, because of the height of this um, cosmetic case there is my new by nature bb cream we're standing them up and it zips up very nicely because you do have the overlay of the zipper, like it, it uh, how do I put it? It's like the thickness of the zipper goes over the items and zips up perfectly. It's not going to really create a bend. You can overstuff this and create a bend, but then again, you wouldn't do that because I think the item that you'd put in there, you, you wouldn't want the item that would fit in here that would create a bend. Does that make sense? So if I was to put my L'Oreal Mercier translucent powder, Firstly, it doesn't go in here, but it just, you wouldn't put it in here because you can see it wouldn't fit. So that's the only way that these are, these are actual toiletries bend is when you start stuffing it with stuff that just, look, square peg, round hole kind of situation. Okay, and lastly, what do I put in my toiletry 26? Well, I did have all my other larger essentials such as such as that, my Laura Mercier translucent powder, other translucent powders, compacts, blushes. However, I just changed this out two nights ago to house my brushes. Yes, I admit I do have to dig. So I usually keep larger brushes, makeup brushes, they're so dirty, on top. And then I keep like the smaller eye brushes are on the bottom. So I know I have to dig for those. Uh, but I just traded out from my toiletry 25, which I showed you in my forever items, because I wanted to A, give it a rest, B, I wanted to put those items such as, you know, powders, blushes in that toiletry 25, uh, because I found when they were in here, it was starting to do what I just said. It was like the wrong shape. You don't look at this pouch and go, oh, I'm going to shove, you know, a square block like this in it and do it up because it wouldn't, it's obviously geometrically not going to fit. So I knew that my brushes would lay down perfectly in here. There'd be no bend of the zipper when I do it up because obviously I can feel brushes up to here and they're long and thin. So that is what I'm housing in these three cases and it works perfect for my lifestyle at the moment. Um, and if I did want to swap out, you know, I had a bigger bag, maybe a Neverfull, I wanted to put this, I can do that as well. It's like super, super easy, you know, super easy to just throw everything out, give it a nice wipe down. Let's show you. Let's show you the insides. So give it a nice wipe down. Again, it's the lined uh, leather, like calfskin leather lining. And you can just give it a nice wipe down throughout any of the sort of dust, soot, crumbs, crud and uh, trade it out to hold other things. So they, that is what I use each of these for. 
Alrighty, that brings me to the end of my comparison on these three Louis Vuitton toiletry cases. Do I recommend these toiletry cases over, you know, say the dome shaped cosmetic case from Louis Vuitton or maybe the cosmetic cases from Prada or a Chanel O case? I highly recommend these cases, not only because they are so, so darn cute, I don't want to just say I recommend them because they're really sought after and hard to find. I recommend them because I feel that they are well wearing for the use. We are talking about a pouch, a compartment type um, bag, or, or, yeah, pouch um, that is used for toiletry needs. It is used to go near water, near, you know, sponge, toilets, um, going in and out of suitcases for travel. And I feel for canvas to begin with, Louis Vuitton canvas is great and well wearing for that. It is honestly such a great material. So canvas is a man-made fiber material. It is a combination of fiber grains. It's got leather in it, but it's grained. Um, yeah, it's, it's a fiber material. It is not leather. However, these are leather lined. So I feel like you've got a hardy sort of well wearing item do you know what i mean does that make sense on these items the wear that you get is on the zipper and on the corners and for my most used one or my one that i've had the longest the corners are holding up pretty well there's maybe a little bit of scuffing that's about it none of the stitches have popped or anything and the newer ones obviously are in better condition than that because they, they are newer. I'll tell you that my zipper on my 19 has become a little bit dull and you can see it's got a bit of darkening and a bit of dirt in the zipper. You can see it compared to the 15 there, you can see the, the dirt and the darkening like so. I'm sure if I just rubbed a little bit of Brasso on that, it'll come up fine. Uh, but for what it is, which is technically a case to hold toiletry needs, I think that they are really well priced. I think they are totally worth it. I highly recommend them. Again, kind of a popular item in the last year. They've kind of become like a popular fad item to get. And so a little bit harder to find. I'm going to link as many as I can find, which I told you below. Nevertheless, I truthfully recommend this item. I recommend any of the pouches from Louis Vuitton. This I recommend over the dome shape, just simply because of the, the bending of the dome shape of the zipper. This is obviously square. It's not going to do that in the way that the dome shape does. So that is it, guys. That brings me to the end of my comparison video on this trifecta of toiletries from Louis Vuitton. I truthfully love this item. Plus, I am pouch obsessed. I am cosmetic case obsessed. If I could just have a million, which I pretty much do, I would just keep collecting them. It's quite crazy. Uh, but I highly recommend this one. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check all the links that I put in the uh, see more bar or info box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, guys, there is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you'll get notifications of all my new videos. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care. Peace.